Welcome to another Aries Point Project video. My name is Aaron. Today is uh, the 1st of February, 2022. We just had that uh, Aquarius new moon earlier today. It's right uh, on my IC. So I um, decided I would speak quickly from that orientation in my own subjective experience. You know, I have Uranus on my Ascendant. So, life is constant change. There's a different type of relationship with time the further out your perspective is in relation to this world. Ideas, um, concepts, like in Zen, the first Nen, one moment forever, eternity in a grain of sand, that kind of thing. <laughs> there is a um, perspective of time and it's all relative to the experiences we're feeling in the moment. And we get hooked on the experience, the flow of time. And we get pulled into these undercurrents, sometimes overcurrents. And then we are posed with the question to yin or yang as we go. And we're trying to time life with our passions. Sometimes you have the wind and you have no wings. Sometimes you got the wings and there's no wind. Sometimes everything is on time. So the Aquarian perspective from the IC for me it's calling forth the reason And the reasons are variable. Obviously, we're all living our own individual lives, but we're in this relation to one another and what we call existence. When you see yourself as part of a collection, are you orientated within or without? You see, when you're in the flow with an experience external to you, something from an overarching structure, group, ideology, philosophy, whatever, then your orientation, your sense of self is the experience, is what you're going through. You have subjectified the objective in relation to your being as part of whatever that is. You keep calm. Uh. Okay, 
where was I? I think the point I was trying to get to is uh, in these ways of being the actor in the action, living the experience, or living in analysis of it. We see where the ephemeral, the uh, constructs of reality, are changing. And so when we associate ourselves in relation to the change and we have higher value on what that is than what's within us, we are pulled into that. And so maybe in these times, you know, that Aquarius, that breakthrough is in exactly who you are in relation to this world. You know, individuation. Everything in life is part of that process. If you want to analyze it from a this to that, from here to there perspective. To understand how unity is diversity. And each of us are an individual. We are the diverse in this university. <laughs> I love dogs. Hey! If you think you're on the spiritual path, get a dog. That'll tell you. They keep you grounded, you know. <laughs> Not in the, uh, the optimal ways, but it works. So anyways, bringing the, um, the self forward requires authenticity, which requires understanding of relationship between yourself and the world, others. When you understand this, or you start to see this perspective, you can see dynamics more clearly. And you can start to understand what kind of flows you're swimming in. <clears throat> and we each got our ways. And some of us, we gotta learn through the experience of it. You know, we can't read it in a book or hear someone tell us how or what we should be or think, how we can strategize or optimize. A lot of that just comes through going through what it is you feel um, drawn to do, you know. Calm down. Let's relax, kids. Leela, what you doing? <laughs> mm. Forget who you think you are and become who you might be.
ignorance is the blessing. So you can make your mistakes wise by being in the act of creative mode of being. When you feel the call, don't force it if you're not feeling it. But when it comes, you'll know. We're coming from Gemini Sag into Taurus Scorpio. The South Node, the ancestral energies. The wisdom of experience, the Gnosis. That's what this can bring for you. And it will do it with or without you. You'll either rehash it out in life or you'll somehow get out of your head, get out of the loop and fall into the creative. So Scorpio Yin without yang within. Okay, you're pulling down in. North node, Taurus. Yang without yin within. Stumbling forward. <sighs> Alright, well, thanks for watching.